Hi, this time I'm gonna show you the necromancer build for the Ratma set and for the shield and the weapon I use the Justet set. Let's give you some bonuses for the command skeletors. And for the Ratma parts I use the gloves, bots, sh shoulders, helm and armor and the uh, extra set part I get from the ring in the cube. And for the belt and the pants I use the captain. And for the bracers, I use the Bond of Clea to get the extra damage for the Army of Deaths. For the Neckle, I'll use the Squirrel Neckle to give you the extra damage if you don't take the damage. And for the Ring, I have the Chris Sentence. And for the second ring, I use the Hellfire. However, if you don't want extra bonus from the XPF to get the faster Paragons, you can use the let me find that conversion of elements and the amulet of i used it before the how to vox for the extra shadow and conversion of element will give you extra bonuses for your poison skill and most of your skills will be the poison to get the extra bonuses and in the cube you'll have as well mm. A weapon, I forget the name, but if each time you use the poison skill, you will get extra damage as well. So, if you have let's say four poison skills, you will get multiple by four. So, now I will show you two different way how I play with the necromancer and which I can recommend to you. And you can choose which one you like better. So, for the primary skill, you use the Grim Sight with Cursed Sight, which can give you your enemy the random curse. For the second skill, I used Command Skeletor with Frenzy, so which this give you our Skeletor is gonna attack faster with Edge attack. Uh, next one is the Blood Rush with psychical so it's gonna increase your armor or you can use the rune which gives you the extra charge so you will get two instead of one another skill is the bone armor with desolation and this is gonna have you whenever you use the skills you will get stun your enemy for two seconds and the damage is the poison uh, your main skill is the Army of Death and Blighted Grasp, which is gonna get the poison damage. And the last skill is the Revive. And in this build, I use the Horrific Return. And whenever you use that and revive the enemy, you will. Uh, use the fear on them for 3 seconds so and whenever you will use the damage whenever there are any fear we get as well increased damage from the ring for the passive skills the first one i use the restitutivity which heal you for percent of your damage whenever your, imi uh, your minions hit enemy and second one is the final service whenever you get the lethal damage you will not be available to get damage for four seconds you'll be healed for 10 percent of your life another one is swift hardness which gonna increase the attack speed for your game side so faster attack will give you faster chance chance to get the curse of the enemy and the last one is ratma shed you can lose life for four seconds after i use the army of death and i use the bow passive the same for bow build so i will not change it i will just change two skills with the second one but first let's have a quick look how the game look with this setup so you may know if you like it or no and why I use that, this passive for the final service, rat shirt and this to do it. Uh, you have whenever you use the rat shirt you won't be able to die for four seconds, it's cooldown 60 seconds and final service gives you another survivability. 
and necromancer is very easy to die especially on the higher's level like let's say grip 100 and more and the grispy of he do it will give you as well the extra healing and for the supporter i use the templar because it gives me the extra healing i use all the ability he have for the healing current resurrection and guarding whenever it gets uh, if i remember well whenever it gets some fatal damage he'll jump in and stun the enemy and heal some percent of life as well so this is gonna give you a great boost for the uh, healing and survivability for the necromancer In the second build I changed the uh, blood rush for skeleton match and the run is contamination and this rise skeleton match with chale the aura of decoy for 100% weapon damage which is poison and last for 6 seconds and whenever the enemy stand around it he will get the extra damage in revive i change the rune for personal army which give you 1% damage reduction for the edge enemy revive and you can get 10 revive enemies so it's gonna give you extra 10 per 10% for damage reduction and better survivability for necromancer and i personally like this build more or maybe it helped me more to get the higher great rift you won't be able to jump out from the enemy like whenever you have the blood rush but you will need to smash every group of the enemy on your way and with this one I was able to go to the higher great trip but choice is your which devil you prefer the more hope it's gonna help you decide if you're going for the Ratma set Necromancer and see you in the next video cheers mm -hmm.